And this is number five on my top 10 list of top predictions for 2026. And that is there is going to be a vendor lock-in backlash in 2026. So it's always been somewhat of an issue, but what we're seeing now is contractually and business model wise, you're seeing more organizations get locked in to these long-term subscriptions that are very difficult to get out of. But when you're moving to a public cloud sort of uh, environment, you're moving all your data over and you're having all of your data and applications hosted and controlled by someone else, you've really given up control of your operations. I think you're going to see a backlash away from cloud, especially, you know, when you, when you combine the, the aspects of giving up control, the contractual terms that sort of lock you in longer term, the high costs, and you're starting to see some backlash. Like in Microsoft recently, there was a study that came out that showed that they on average had raised uh, their subscription prices for D365, somewhere between 10 and 20% year over year. And you were starting to see customers that were getting pissed off about it. Now, if you don't pay your, your software vendor, they cut off access, which means you can't run your business. And to me, to have any outside third party with that sort of control or influence over your business is just not at all acceptable, in my opinion. So I think there's going to be there's going to be a pretty big, pretty big backlash there.